How are MGUS and smoldering myeloma diagnosed? I didn't know I had myeloma until I was heavily symptomatic. What a fantastic question. Um, we say this all the time, but you know, myeloma is a relatively rare condition, but the precursor to myeloma or the precancerous condition of MGUS or monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance and the intermediate area of smoldering myeloma is actually much, much more common. And most patients with MGUS won't develop true myeloma, but very often those are diagnosed before anyone has any symptoms. In fact, MGUS by definition really is asymptomatic. So it's typically picked up when someone has blood work done for something else and it's noticed that they have a high protein level or something that's not normal in their blood and there we find the diagnosis of MGUS or smoldering myeloma. Sadly, very often by the time we make the diagnosis of myeloma, someone has had symptoms for a long time and that's often why the diagnosis is delayed and people are diagnosed with a later stage disease. This is why we're trying to address this by uh, examining <clears throat> through this huge clinical trial that we've done in Iceland to see is it worth screening people for myeloma? Should people get regular blood tests like you might get a regular mammogram or colonoscopy for colon cancer? We've not arrived at the conclusion yet.